Welcome back, I'm Matthew Mungle, prosthetic makeup artist, continuing with the witch makeup. This step is painting our face of the witch, and I'm gonna use stay colors, stay colors, thin down with a little alcohol, and extended with the extender. Just give me a little bit more stretch on the, uh, the application of the colors. So what we're gonna start out with first is the number four color. And I'm going to airbrush this on. So if you hear the airbrush come on and off, that's what that is. So I've got a Pache H brush, which has a little cup on it. I love these because they're really workhorses and uh, and they're easy to clean and easy to use. I've got a little um, um, pressure uh, valve on the side here that I can do as well as on the uh, compressor. So it'll give me a little less or a little bit more air if I need it. See, that's closed. That's just open just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open the number four color and put a little bit in our cup here. I'm gonna take a little of the extender, put about three drops in there, and then put about the equal parts of alcohol in there. It's equal parts, I'm gonna put equal parts of alcohol to the, uh, the amount of stay color in there. So we've got stay color, three drops of extender, and then equal parts of alcohol. Uh, now we're gonna take and just kind of press the air button. I'm gonna give a little bit more air to this. And by holding a tissue on the end, it will automatically mix the color in the cup because it'll start to bubble I'm going to be very careful with that. Now we're going to take this, we're going to open the uh, tip of the airbrush really wide. And we're going to see if we can get a spatter by just tilting the airbrush forward. And I want you to close your eyes, look straight ahead, there we go. And we're going to start to spatter some color onto our makeup here. I like to add color very slowly onto the makeup and not do a solid color. And because the appliances are very translucent, they'll take on that color and create a nice look to this makeup. Some under the neck area. Now I've got to that point, I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol, make the color a little bit more translucent, turn down my, my air quite a bit. There's just a little bit of air coming out. Open it up the tip just a little bit more even. And then tilting the airbrush and giving a little bit more color drops to this makeup. Just feeling like rain going, dribbling over the face. Okay, 
Okay. Take a deep breath for me and hold it. Okay. 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 Give it a go. Do it one more time. Okay. Let me get under the nose area here. Okay, now that we're finished with that color, I'm going to go on to an old age spot brown color. This color has already been thinned down a little bit. I'll put a little bit in the cup. A few drops of the extender. And even more alcohol to give me a very translucent color. Putting the tissue over the end and it'll start to bubble in the cup. That means it's mixing in the cup. I'll turn down the um, air coming out. Give me some tissue. If I tilt the gun like this and just barely press onto the air, you can get uh, spatters like that. So I'm going to do this all over the face. We need some age spots and some nice little spattering color. Freckling. Now I'm going to close the um, end of the tip of the airbrush down. So you get a really small, let me see if I can get this so you can see what I'm doing here. Even smaller. Okay. Now we have some, we can put some veins on with this brown. A little shading under the cheekbones, accentuate the sculpture of the appliance. Some veins on here, brown veins. Going to open this up a little bit. Tilt your head up a little bit. Give me a little bit more shading here. Next to that turkey neck area. A little bit. Larger veins. A little shading around the eyes here.
A little shading with the airbrush here. Now while I have this brown, tilt your head back, uh, take a deep breath, hold it for me, paint under the nose here, sorry. Okay. A little dark on the lips. Veins on the neck here. And I'm going to close it way down and get some old age spots on here. Okay, I'm satisfied with that a little bit. That darker color and age spots. Just gonna wash my cup out with a little alcohol. I'm going to go with a green color. This is some moldy look to our witch here. extender in, a little bit more alcohol, make a nice translucent color, going to mix that a little bit. Get some spackle color on here, spatter color. green into that makeup. Help her go into the, the green side of a witch. Now I'll close the tip of the airbrush down. Give me some nice green veins in there. Layering the color on. That's giving us a nice kind of green hue over the whole thing. Raise your eyebrows for me. Okay, good.
Okay, we're going to move on to the next color. I'm going to take a brush, a little alcohol. I want to extend the alcohol a little bit with a little extender, which is basically a plasticizer. Take purple color. This is a dark purple color. You can mix it with a little red to liven it up a little bit. Keep your eyes closed. I just put some detail color with a purple. Around the makeup here and there. Accentuate the nose a little bit. Around the nose and these labial folds a little bit. Lips a little bit. Get the purple color. So all we're doing now is just putting accent colors with the airbrush. Sides of the eye. A little age to the eye a little bit. Purple eyeshadow here. Now she's coming alive here. Yes. Now the last little bit here, we'll take this number one stay color. Put some number one in the cup. Put a little extender in. Put a little alcohol in. Just to thin it down to give a nice kind of translucent color. Close the end off of the tip. Just kind of run some air through it. It'll bubble up and mix that color into it. See if we can get a little spatter. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter color. Just spatter over the whole thing. Then I can concentrate a little bit more on it, on the area that I want a little highlight to be. Chin. And if I wanted a more opaque color, I could pour a little bit of this out and put a little bit more of the Stay color in there. Give a little bit more opaque, light, lighter flesh dots around the whole makeup. With that color, we've layered the whole thing. And also layered, starting with the, uh, a little lighter color, then darker color, and then lighter over it. That, we've kind of layered the color onto the makeup, which creates more of a realistic look to your makeup. All right, this is a Bin Nye color wheel. It's the FX wheel. EW4 Master Brews colors. I'm going to take a little of the dark red color, put it on a palette, smooth that around. 
when you're using a palette like this, you always want to dip from the palette and not directly from the palette onto the skin because you don't want to contaminate any of the colors. I'm going to take a little green, a little yellow, a little purple, a little blue, basically taking all of the colors from this color wheel so I can utilize those in the makeup. Top back on this. And choose a brush here. And take a little of the dark red color and the purple. Just make sure I've got enough color on my brush. Set that palette aside. Keep your eyes closed. I'm just going to line the top of her eyes with the red color. Red purple color, rather. And I'm going to take a sponge, just kind of move that around a little bit so it's not a solid line get a little bit of more dip it definition around her eyes. Okay, and look up on her, way up to the ceiling, there we go. Taking this color, putting a broad line underneath the eye. Kind of drawing the Pulling the color off of the brush, go ahead and look up, and just kind of pull that color down. In lines, and not necessarily as a shadow. If I have too much, I'll just go in with the sponge and just kind of tap it okay. put that purple any place else you think you need it tilt your head back I'll put a little purple around the nose area then with the purple color mix a little green with it and go in with the brush open your mouth for a while and create little lines the lines on her lip here just give it an old age kind of look to her lips and we're going to take stay colors again cut a little piece of orange stipple sponge and tear it just a little bit an Un uneven look to it take a little alcohol a little extender Take the number two flesh tone and the number one flesh tone. Mix those two together. Okay, I want you to pucker up really big. Pucker, pucker. You take that. Because we've lined the lips, you can get more of a crease around the mouth by just adding 
the highlight pucker up a little beautiful she puckers as much as possible okay relax and we've got some nice wrinkles around the lips there a little bit of highlight what I've got this on there my nose and the top of the cheeks and the eyebrows just to give a little bit more texture to it right there now I'm going to take the yellow color from the Ben Nye color wheel Mix a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the green, and then a drop or two of alcohol just to thin it down a little bit. Kind of air dry the brush a little bit and close your eyes. And I'm going to go in and just hit her eyelashes a little bit with this color. Keep your eyes closed. just to knock her eyelashes down a little bit so they don't look so long and luxurious as they are. <laughs> okay, finishing the eyelashes here with the yellow and the green. Just give a little contrast there. Oh, look up those. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of the yellow and just put under the eyes. Just give me a little bit of different color there. Maybe yellow jaundice into the makeup here and there. All right, painted to a point that I'm happy with on this. Now we're going to put her contact lenses in right now. Okay, just to preface this a little bit, contact lenses should be done by a professional that knows what he or she is doing. Uh, it's very important to go to an optometrist to get the actress or actor uh, fitted for proper contact lenses. For this case, she's only going to have it in about an hour or so for this demos, demonstration. So I've got some stock uh, lenses that I keep really clean that we can put in. Close your eyes, look towards your, look towards your nose, down, down away from the lenses as far as you can. There we go. Okay, look back and forth, back and forth. You feel okay? Uh huh. Yeah. Next one. So the idea is to try to look as far away from this contact as possible, okay. which would be probably towards your nose and down. Okay. You know, just like that. So these lenses have basically given her cataracts and dulled her eyes down so they don't look so youthful now. So that's always a nice little addition to a makeup. Now, since we've finished this part, we're going to put a little bit more detail into the eye area. I'm going to break up the smoothness under the eyes with a little bit of dots of purple. And I'm going to go back with a brush, just kind of smooth those down a little bit so they don't look like dots. Okay. 
Now for the wig. Okay, so we have the wig here. We're going to put it on. We'll place it in the center. And this is why we put the ball paint on, because we want to move her hairline way back. So I grabbed it here, just kind of put my fingers on it, and then pulled it down in the back, just to give us a little bit more forehead area. Is that okay? Have that down. I'm not necessarily going to pin it down because she's not going to have it on for too long. So do that. I'm going to pull some strands down in her face a little bit. By doing that, we're kind of softening her face also. Okay, now for the teeth. I'm going to have her put those in herself for sterilization. <laughs> <laughs> and the bottom ones, make sure there's no hair in there. And that kind of completes her look as a witch, except for the costume. Okay, here we are with final witch look with her costume on and everything. We've got her hair set back, her teeth in. We had to negate one of the contacts because her eye was a little bit irritated. So we've got one uh, cataract in her right eye here and uh, made a jewelry out of eyeballs and teeth and ears and fingers and uh, let's see let's show your hands here so these hands these are silicone finger extensions here right here you can see them right there and they were glued into the end of gloves which were cut and um, stressed a little bit, I guess, and the addition of rings made the look complete, as you see. And she can do all of her movements like that. And just, you know, 